It's Pelle here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the x-ray shutter effect in After Effects and yeah I'm very excited about showing this effect this has to be one of the top grunge effects I've made so far so uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited to show you guys how to make it and if you guys don't know my name is Pelle Kåberg I'm from Sweden and that's why my name might look very weird to you guys, but uh, yeah. And I've been editing for almost 10 years now, and uh, I'm also running the website called editingvisuals.com where I have a bunch of editing packs that's going to elevate your editing game and save you a lot of time. So if that's you know something you're interested in, be sure to check out the website. Now let's get into the tutorial. So here I'm in After Effects. I have my footage here of Molly Santana's music video Chain Swanging. So to start off with we're going to be making a adjustment layer and I'm going to do that by pressing Ctrl Alt Y. I'm going to start off by adding motion detect. And this is basically to make this kind of shutter look here. I'm going to delay it two frames. And then I'm going to keep the rest of the settings at default. After that add curves. Drag this one up like that. And this one down like that. Just increase the brightness and the yeah, contrast a little bit. Then add invert. I'm going to be changing the channel to hue. It's going to give us this look here. Looks pretty pretty cool so far. After that to get some colors to this I'm going to be adding a 4 color gradient. And here I'm going to go with a very dark blue. So something like this here. Copy that to all of the other color positions. Change the blending mode to hue. And we get this look here. Really really like this. Then we could add curves again and then drag the uh, bottom part here up and then the top part down like this. So we will get this look here, pretty clean. After that add JPEG damage. And here I'm going to decrease the uh, uh, yeah, quality basically by increasing the rest factor. So now it's at 1, I'm going to set that to 5. And we get this super low quality uh, effect here. And then after that add noise, set it to 15%, mosaic, set the horizontal and vertical box to 750. And then add an sharp mask to make the yeah, bad quality pop a little bit more. So I'm going to set the amount to 200 and then increase the radius a little bit to 3. After that add glow, I'm going to set the glow intensity to 0.2, then press Ctrl D on the glow, glow radius 250. Then intensity 0.4, then control D again on the glow, set the radius to 500, and then the glow intensity to 0.6. And this is the look we guys have now, really really like this. Uh, now we will have to add a grunge effect on top of this, so um, we can rename this to Shutter. So what you guys are going to be doing is basically make a new adjustment layer, control Y, open up animation, use the presets. And here I have my grunge presets, which is a part of my all-in-one bundle. Bonus, then here I'm going to be adding the dark pixel grunge. Add it on, and you guys will get this look here. I think it's absolutely amazing. I really, really like this look here. The final thing I'm going to be doing is, in my opinion, I like my grunge effects to be 15 frames per second, basically. So you can either... Uh, change your yeah, composition settings or as I like to do make a new adjustment layer control Y here add post rise time set the frame rate to 15 and it's going to look something like this here I really really like this look here absolutely amazing and if you guys want to check out the grunge preset pack which is a part of the all-in-one bundle it's going to be a link in the description down below and just because you guys watch this tutorial it's going to be a discount code there as well so feel free to check it out yeah i'm very satisfied with the look we got today uh it's a really really clean <laughs> grunge effect you guys could use for your music videos it's uh i'm lost for words to be honest really 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 like this and if you guys also like this don't forget to like and subscribe and share the tutorial don't forget to check out my website editingvisuals.com we have a bunch of editing packs that's going to yeah elevate your editing game even more. Also check out my socials, my Discord server, and I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.